It's finally here, the week when this house gets turned over to its new owners and we need to be out of here. So, did we make it? Is the boat move on ready? Hmm, we almost made it, but when all of the hardware was taken off of the deck and we covered everything up, um, some really big rains came in and it's a boat and it wasn't sealed properly. So some leaks happened and there's some additional work that we need to do in the inside before we want to move stuff in like our clothes or to actually sleep in there. Um, I'm going to have to re-wipe it down um, with a little bit of bleach and we're going to have to work on a little bit of water damage. The water damage won't keep us from moving in, but I want to make sure that we wipe everything down because who wants to move into like a humid kind of stinky boat because of the fact that a whole bunch of rainwater got in. So I'm going to pop up some video of the inside of the boat that I got over the weekend to show you what it looks like now um, with the water that had come in and everything is still torn apart in there. Um, for when we had to get to the bolts for those items we had removed from the upper deck. Um, we decided not to rush and try to finish the paint job, which would be today and tomorrow so that we could put our stuff in on Thursday because what's the point of rushing the paint job to get the inside of the boat together to move all of our stuff, clothes, you know, things into a boat that needs to be wiped down and cleaned before we can really move our stuff in. It's so much easier to clean when you don't have anything in there. So it'll be a much quicker and more efficient process if we just accept that we can't change what's happened, but what we can do is adjust how we're going to react to it, which is not to move into a boat that's not to the level that we want it to be. It's never going to be perfect. It's, we're not waiting for perfection. If we waited for that, we would never ever move onto the boat, just like you'd never move into a house because if you wanna move in or do anything, there's always something that needs to be fixed. There's always something that needs to be improved. So long story short, we are not moving on to the boat in a day and a half. Um, we're not gonna be homeless, don't worry. I have family in the area um, about 40 minutes away from the boat, so we'll be staying with them while we finish things up. So it won't be too inconvenient and it makes sense to take the time that we need to finish up those last things and finish them up correctly and not rush them and end up regretting that we rushed through it when we really could have taken another week. So although we will be officially 100% moved out of this house tomorrow, we won't be moving onto the boat this week. We are hoping to move into it next week. So we have this weekend, we have next week, um, and then we wanna be moving in that weekend. So about a week after we'll be out of this house, we'll be when we move into the boat, fingers crossed that nothing else crazy pops up, but it's life, things will pop up and we'll just adjust. Over the next week or so, we're gonna be working on finishing up those last two layers of paint for the upper deck, which will then allow us to reinstall all of that hardware. So we're not gonna get those really big leaks like we got when that big rainstorm came in. Again, it's a boat, so it's never going to be leak free but it'll be more manageable and it won't be like a big thing when there is a leak. Once that hardware is back installed on the upper deck, then we'll start working on getting the inside cleaned up again so we can move into it. We don't wanna start working on anything on the inside until we finished up the outside because the paint and all of that stuff is what will allow us to plug up all those leaks, which they're not really leaks, they're just a whole bunch of screws that we had to take out. So there's a whole bunch of holes all over the boat where the screws went that we had to remove to paint around. And by the way, I did not forget that you all were really curious about me comparing the size of this house that we're moving out of with the size of the boat we're moving into and all the storage and everything. So the closet space where I'm putting my clothes here versus there and how that's going to work. So I'm going to make sure that I have those shots so I can put that together in the future for you once you can actually see what it's like in the boat because if i do it now it's not really a, a fair judgment of the space although the space is a lot smaller uh, but just because of the fact that everything's pulled apart it wouldn't really help you to see anything so i'm gonna wait for that one but just to give you an idea of the amount of clothes that i'm trying to move in the boat keyword trying we're gonna see if it fits um, those clothes are right here in these two ikea bags 
I know two Ikea bags probably sounds like a lot. It's not all the clothes I had. Tons of them were donated. Um, I have some that are being stored. Not a ton, because if I'm not bringing them on the boat, why do I really want to keep them? So my summer bag with all the clothes, bathing suits, like everything that's necessary to get dressed in the morning. And this one, and then more warm layers, like winter clothes, which if I didn't have to have winter clothes or warm clothes, I wouldn't be nervous about fitting things, um, but we shall see. So make sure that you subscribe so that you do see when that video comes out. It's not going to be next week because next week we'll still be working on the boat projects when the next video comes out. Um, so make sure you subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe on YouTube, I also have a newsletter that comes out once weekly. Um, and in that newsletter, I just put out the latest video content that's come out and also just a few other fun things for you to do. So I'm Kelly and I'll see you in the next video. And hopefully I have more exciting news than we couldn't move into the boat. Thank you for watching.